Oh, wow. Just look at all the cool stuff in this van. Just look at the back there. It's a gamer's paradise. And believe me, they went nuts when he got all this stuff out. Would you take 150 right now for these pops? Hey guys, we are here for another boot sale and it is 6 a.m. And guess what? I've had four hours sleep today. So it'll be interesting to see if I can actually pick anything up when I'm half asleep. Um, mainly because of this. Manchester City, the European champions, history-making treble winners. Yeah, someone picked it up yesterday. I, I just put it out, but I didn't put it out, out. I just showed somebody and they were like, oh. What do you want on the two hats? Uh, well, for you. I've got to be fair to myself as well. I don't want to rob myself. Uh, probably 50 quid for the two. Not sign a lot, but you can see what it's for that one's worth. I mean, mm. you'll get a ton for that. You know, Swagman's worth about 50. I mean, there's got to be 100, 150 quid there. I'll do you 20 each on them. There's quite a lot listed. So it's whether I can find the same exact right, same one. For you, only because it's you, Chris. No, okay. no I wouldn't bother. All right, I mean, appreciate it. Yeah, no, just because it's for you, mate. You know, we've, we've oh. it, Excellent. Thanks, mate. It's my own purpose of my wardrobe. Oh, okay. Got on your jacket. I like your jacket. You can have that for three quid, mate. Done. How much are your shirts? About 10, 10 to 15. About 10 ish. 10 15, right. T shirts and stuff to There was loads, a lot of it all gone.
the scarves. Three. Three. Any more of the um, MLS ones, the American League? Yeah, there's not many. There's mm. been the odd one, but they've yeah. most of them have gone. I think I had three off you last time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a red bull, but that's... Okay. That one. Is it Salzburg or is it uh, New York? This is red bull. That's a New York yeah. one, yeah. Mm. So there's two. Do these two for a fiver? Yeah. Unless you got any more, uh, any more American ones? I wouldn't even know to be honest. Yeah. There's a USA one, that's it. Uh, oh. Well, oh, let's have a look at that one. See that. Do <laughs> seven on those if you want. Yeah, that'll do. Seven okay. Quid, that'll be Excellent. I'll put a drinks bottle carrier in somewhere. I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's you got a bit of change, am I? I'm down yeah, to 20. Keep, just let us keep the change. <laughs> like Morning, mate. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Hopefully, it'll be a bit warmer later. Yeah, it will do. I believe that wet didn't it? Would you take eight on it? Uh, not just yet. No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh somebody took one out, so there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Two fifty. Yeah. How much was it, sorry? They're, they're complete. How much? Um two fifty on it. They're new, aren't they? Two fifty. Two fifty for the pair. One? Two. The pair. Two? Yeah. Two fifty. Yeah. Three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah. Well, two pounds each or the pair. Three what do you want for all of them? Um, well, this looks like about a sporting. like, um, 60, I think. Okay. Because there's 40 yeah. there and then the rest will be. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, thank you. They're all present and correct as well. I mean, that's oh, there, uh, yeah. How much is that one, please? Ruth, how much is you two? Three pounds. He's from out of this world, that one comes from. I'll take him, thank you. I think his batteries have gone, but He's never been mind. Hanging around trying to make a phone call, and you're worried about his batteries. I know. Yeah, it looks. Phone home for the last thirty years. How much is your big South Africa thing? Ten. Ten.
Yeah. 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 Now I'm just going to pause it here because I'm taking an extra long time looking at this item just for Colin and John who both think that I take too long looking at things. At the end of the day I have no interest in being a reselling nutter running around the car boot sales like a headless chicken. If you want to do that go for it. Well, there's the dog happy about that. Uh, she's dead. Oh, that's fair enough. Introduce a bit then in that case. Have some armbands. Have you got any room on that? I'll check with the box. Okay. Seven. Yeah, I'd do that. Okay. Thank you. You can have them. That's for that one, thank right, you. Right, thank you. How much do you want on this? Same again if you want. Seven. You need to move Is there on. any tags on it? No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. When I when I buy um, sports business, this guy bought all the scarves off. He used to come over here to do like a show. Yeah. And rather than take it all back, he used to give it all to me. Yeah. And he, he's done, he done, well, mostly you can see there's loads. Of yeah, yeah. Of all sorts. That's how I ended up with them all. Did you do a fiver on it? Go on then. Yeah? Okay. I'll take, I'll take a chance on a fiver. I thought about using it just on the beach. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could do, couldn't you? You can see it's like knitted, like some of the scarves are. Yeah, I think it's a wall hanger, me. Yeah, they, they do a lot of them. You can only get one of them if you buy a new mini. Yeah. It's uh my wife liked it because we got a bull dog. Ah okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Was it three pound? Yeah. Would you take two on it? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Home, right? Lovely. <laughs> two quid. Uh, yeah, they gave you a bulldog and two little cushions. The cushions were absolutely oh, right. like um, you uh, wonder why they bother, don't you? You know, oh, the cost of doing it. It's... Yeah, I try to say I'm giving it to me. It's yeah. These days, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Cheers. That's the whole struggle. Yeah, it's a real nice. You sure? Yeah, that's a little Is it what? Well, it's like the next level. 
the um, they were made by a company called Dragon. <coughs> but that's yeah, um, right. from the film uh, the, the one in Russia with um, Sid um, Harris. That is oh, right. Enemy at the Gate. That's oh, right, yeah. Cool. <coughs> I've got some 1950s action men. I just looked a little bit like it for a minute. Yeah, they, I mean he's all you know, like the same as the action men. There was them other ones, wasn't there? Uh, GI Joe. GI Joe. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks more like a GI Joe action. Yeah, yeah, they're proper detailed, aren't they? <coughs> <coughs> accurate and all that. He's got all his gear on there. How much is that? How much are you willing to? Be? I don't know. To <laughs> it be is honest. pretty. They are. They are quite it's, expensive. It's neat. But, but um, what are you asking? I, w I did have thirty on it, but I can oh, come yeah. down to twenty. Uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything underneath as well. He's got his full uniform, and all yeah. his decorations, and everything. How about this up here? Because I want it to wear for your lot, mate. You're joking. I'm going to have this. <laughs> I might be interested in it. Do you want to do a bit of a deal with that and these bits? What, what's he from? Um, it's uh, um, Kevin Smith. It's Banksy, it's Banksy before the, the actual Banksy. Okay. Banksy. What would you do on that one? Kevin Smith um, films. Um, oh, two pounds. Uh, 25. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at him, he's cool. I know, I just said he's gorgeous. Yeah, it's just other dogs you don't know. Yeah, mine's yeah, the same. There's a stand there. For Lovely, you. thank you, you very much. No, we had two um, are you alright with that? Um, yeah, I can change it. Great. Love. What have you got on these, on your tops? That um, one? The ones that aren't badged are like a tenner each. Yeah. But this one's going to be about 15 to 20 because that's got quite a lot of yeah. original gear on it. Because me and her were both ex forces. Oh, and okay. So we got brought all this stuff back from Iraq and Afghanistan. And stuff. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice Marine Corps one. Yeah, the ones with the badges are definitely. But these are all like your size, my size. Yeah. They're all medium yeah. regular or medium long, so they're all a good, you know. Nothing's extra large or massive, it's all yeah. nice, nice fit. Oh, what are those you've got there at the back? They're Jordan. Yeah, Air Jordan's there, size six and a half. Or six. How much are those? About 40. Yeah, what price have you got on those? Um, 40 on each. 40 on each. Is it three pounds per set of the price? Is that right? Yeah. Is about your shoes? <laughs> Only a little bit. Why? It's extra large, but it's not that extra large. Let's have a look. You have a look. Have a look. The extra large boys. Yeah, it's boys extra large. Uh, 13 to 15 years. How much is it? She wanted five on the Ewe Stopper. Do three on it? 
Four. Four. Okay. There you go. Would you take 150 right now for these pups? I'm just looking, I mean these two I'll probably just keep for myself. And then I'm just looking at the others and thinking, mm, yeah, it probably will go over 150, but then you're going to get rid of them all in one go. One seven five. One sixty. Yeah, go on then. Yeah? Yeah. Saves me getting absolutely mugged in a minute. You, you are going to get mugged, I'm telling you now. And these, you've got, you've got absolute... I've got one game in there, which is 60 quid. Which I was yeah, going to do 40 Resident Evil for the PS2. Like, the rare. Yeah, just keep your eye on it. I know. Um, right, 160. Now... You want to keep them there? Can I, uh, I can, I'll just go straight to the car. Um, can I do your bank transfer? I'd rather cash. Okay. If that's all right. No, that's fine. Cash is king at the moment. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, I'm either. Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah. It was brand new. Everything like that. What's that then? Old 45 on those. Can I take these protectors, Dave? Yeah, go on. Eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, and ten. I'm absolutely done in. Um, been round countless times. What time is it now? Nine o'clock. So I've been here since six, three hours. I'm ready for an afternoon snooze, a post boot sale snooze. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, let's get back first and we'll see what we've picked up, including that big haul of pop figures, which I paid £160 for. Hey, we're back home and here we are with everything that we picked up. Quite a, an eclectic mix of stuff, I think we'll say. So I'll just turn you around on the video and here we have everything. We're going to start over here. So a couple of unusual items. Um, this is a South Africa 2010 World Cup. It's like an oversized scarf. It's made from like cotton or wool or something, but just like a massive scarf, um, whether it's a wall hanger or some kind of decoration. It's just unusual, I think, that it would be made from like scarf material. But anyway, I, that's the reason I picked it up. Very, very unusual. It cost me seven pound. I really have no clue whatsoever about the value of this thing. But it's got to be worth more than £7, hasn't it? Look at it, it's lovely. South Africa 210. I knew that other thing would fall down when I moved that. There you go, that's probably the best you're going to get. Stadium. Now, I'm not sure if it's meant to be double-sided, but if you turn it round, I don't think it is because all the writing... This was the side that the chap actually had displayed, which was this black side... I guess you could double-side it, but then if you do that, the the writing in the stadium is back to front. So I'm guessing that's probably not meant to be like that. But the other way, anyway, listen, I paid a fiver for it. Five quid. It has to be worth more than that to somebody. Barcelona fan, football fan. Again, let me know in the comments. Let's whiz it over here and we'll work our way through this lot. Okay. My uh, mate Graham was there and I picked up these two hats. These are from Australia, vintage. Um, fortunately, that one's got a name written in it. Um, but also, it is made by the Swagman, genuine cowhide. Um, we settled on £20 each for these. And basically, I had a little scan on eBay while I was there. Um, and... 
there's definitely value in these. I, I'm not going to make huge money on this one. I think I might be able to get 40 on that one. Um, 20 paid. But this one is worth a bit more. Um, this is made by a brand called Acubra. Imperial quality. Whatever that means. Um, but this, these brands on eBay are going for some quite good money. If you're talking brand new, um, you could be around £150. This looks like it might have had, you see here, some kind of something pinned on the front there at some point in time or on the side as well. So something pinned there and something pinned there. Um, I think in this condition... I might shoot for about 80 and just see what happens with that. I've really got no clue whether that's going to be realistic or not. Um, prices are a bit all over the show, but I've got to see if I can find the exact same hat first. It could be worth more than that. It could be worth less. Um, yeah, £20 each paid on those. I still think I'm going to do, do pretty well with them in the end. Uh, what should we do next? Let's get some clothing out of the way. Um, also from Graham, I got this quite nice, actually. This nice running Nike. I think it's a running jacket. I think he said he bought it for that purpose. Um, pretty nice, really. Uh, what size is it? It's a size large. Um, he let me have that for £3, which was a nice deal. I can't find the exact same one, so I'm going to shoot probably for about 30 on it. It's got a nice retro look to it, so maybe 30 on that. Um, a Barcelona shirt. This is a size XL boys 13 to 15 years, so a youth shirt. It's from the year 2014. It's actually in pretty nice condition. I'm not seeing many pulls or anything on it. It's got the badge on the arm. Um, paid £4. I think we could get 25 for that one. Uh, what else have we got? Let's go keep with the football theme. We've got three scarves I bought from the same stall in the past. Now, I can't remember what I paid last time. I've For some reason, I had in my head three for a fiver, but it might not have been, to be honest with you. Anyway, I did three for £7. I still thought it was a good deal anyway. Um, I've got Seattle Sounders. Always looking for the MLS teams, really, because it seemed to be a bit more sought after, a bit more unusual, especially in the UK. So, Seattle Sounders, so that works out what... About £2.50. Um, New York Red Bulls. Oh, this is dirty for me, by the way. I'm a New York City FC, so rivals. I'm not a big New York City FC, but I like to follow them. Um, Red Bulls, again, £2.50. Uh, ish, £2.50. And this one is not MLS, but it is the USA national team, soccer team. And it looks like it was when... They've played England, so I'll have to look up potentially when this was beat. It says USA beat England <laughs> um, on it, so I think that's nice. I think those scarves um, could be maybe 15 each on those. Uh, just nice things to have, the MLS stuff. Uh, let's go straight to this plush, a mini plush. I'll always pick up vehicle, car, um sort of stuff like this accessories or freebies when the cars were sold uh pay two pound on this there's actually solds on this one for 25 so i'll probably shoot for the similar similar amount um i found a et furby um i've had one of these in the past i sold it i should have kept it i might keep this the only problem is i've got a feeling you can see the battery compartment Look there, straight away warning signs that this is bulging out, which means the batteries have probably burst, rotted, whatever. So um, thankfully, I only paid £3 for it. I could see that already on the bottom. So if it was any more than three, I wouldn't have probably picked it up. But worse comes to the worst, it looks quite nice in my collection. So... Everyone's a winner on this one. If I can fix it up, I'll sell it. If not, I'll keep it. Just a nice display piece for £3. Uh, what else did I get? Whoops, a daisy. Oh, let's go straight to this guy. Um, so this is from this is a character from Clark's or Clerks or whatever. 
um, you know, Jay and Silent Bob. And I bought this whole bundle here, two, two Blu-rays, well, that's a HD thing. Um, this figure and the Tron, £25 was a bundle deal on that. That's a, that's a good little bundle. So I'm going to work it out like this, £1 for this figure. These have sold for around £30 plus international shipping. So that turned out to be a much better buy than I thought. I just like the look of him. I didn't know what he was from or anything. So I'm going to say £30 plus on him. Um, a couple of Blu-rays. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to stick to the price on these, even though it was in a bundle, because it works out nicely. 1917 on the 4K. Uh, this is worth about £15, I think, on the 4K. Maybe 12 to 15 but yeah, I, there seems to be listings for 15 um, and this one I just picked up, I've never seen it before, and it's on a premium collection, which means it's probably a bit more sought after. But uh, at £2, I still f I think it was worth it. And uh, what did they have on this one? Let me just consult. Uh, maybe £20 on that. So, yeah, they were good buys at £2 each. Uh, this fella. Now, I'm pretty sure you might have heard him on the video I'm sure he said that this is from the film Behind Enemy Lines. Oh, it's Ed Harris, that is. Oh, right. Enemy at the gates. That's oh, right. But I can't find him. Now, I might be wrong. I might have just made up the film in my head. and I, I might have to watch it back. But um, drop me a comment. He looks very, very familiar to me. He looks like an actor. I can't think of his name. Oh, it's Ed Harris, that is. He does look familiar. Now, anyway... This figure worked out in the bundle for about £15. And that is a bargain because it doesn't matter if he's from the film or not. I've found him on Google search. And also there are some on eBay. It doesn't say it's from the film. It just says he's a, he's a German sniper figure. And he could be worth about £100. So for um, £15 paid, that's nice. And it is a really nice quality figure. It looks like he's complete as well. He's got all his bits and pieces. Um, so, yeah, he, he looks good. Hopefully he's complete. He's got his bottle and water and stuff there as well. But, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but doesn't he look like a... Doesn't he look like an actor that we know? Uh, I Paris, that is. I can't think, but it's nice anyway. That He could be £100. Just look up, if you want to check it, just look up on eBay, German Sniper figure, and you'll see him. And the last thing in that little bundle for 25 and we'll just stick with the price that's on it, because it works out nicely. Tron Legacy Ultimate Sam Flynn. And he does something really cool. He's still got his batteries working, so when you press the button, he lights up, but look at his face. Kind of like got a... A picture on his face, of his face. <laughs> oh. Isn't that good? Face moves and talks. So that's neat. That's really neat. And it's the ultimate version. There are other versions. This is the ultimate one. Um, so £5 paid, he could be worth £40. That could be a good buy as well. So a good little bundle, that, for £25. Let's move over to some more trainers. Um, Lotto Women's, what are they? Women's UK 6. Yay, I need more women's size 6s. Um, Vittoria Women's. Brand, they're brand new. It looks like they've never been worn. Certainly nothing on the base, on the sole. Um, what do I pay? £5. And I, I can't find the same pair on eBay, but I'm going to have a guess and I'm going to say £30 on those. And these were quite nice as well. These are brand new. Puma, let me see. Puma Smash V2s. Now look at the size on them. This is why I went for them. It's a UK 13. It's a pretty big size. And um, that will be quite, I would expect that would be quite unusual. So that's why I picked them up. But look at the size of them. They are huge. Brand new, never worn, but they are pretty big. Look at them on my hand. 
Um, I'm going to shoot for £40 on these. I paid eight. I made them an offer of £8. They wanted 10 So I'm going to go for 40 on those. So let's just whiz those over there so that we can come to the last thing, which is the pop bundle. Now, you saw me going into the back of Dave's van, for want of a better phrase. Um, but I'd already had a conversation with Dave via WhatsApp um, the day before the boot sale. Because if you remember a little while back on a video, I bought a big bundle of pops from Dave. You might not remember his face, but you might remember the bundle. I literally bought the whole box and I think it worked out about £3 a pop. So anyway, we've had this conversation on WhatsApp. He said to me, I've got, he's got a load of pops. He had some trainers as well, but the price was just a little bit too high for me. I think he wanted 45 on the brand new trainers um, with sort of an £80 sale price. So it, it was too high for me to resell. Would have been a great deal for somebody just buying for themselves. But from a reseller point of view, it was too high. But um, I was interested in the pops. Now, most of these pops are a bit more high end than your average sort of £3 second hand pops, which we did last time. There's much more value here. So um, here's a, a very quick story. He was just setting up his stall. He had thousands, probably thousands of PS2, 360, Wii games, loads of games. And I was a bit... I was a bit concerned that I was taking too long and he he needed to set up his stall and people were hovering, asking him to look at games and stuff. So rather than me stand there and try and figure out what all these were worth, and I would have been there hours, I just said to him, look, what do you want for all of them? And um, I just said to him, I, I could see there was about 25 pops in the box, somewhere around that. I didn't look at them all. I just said to him, how about 150 and I'll take the lot. I'll, I'll just take it sort of blind. I don't know really what's in there other than I can see a few that are of good value. Um, so he counted 175 and we settled on 160, which actually, um, when I've added up the values, because Dave had already, he'd already priced everything up ready to go on his stall. So when I added up all of his prices, because he knows, he knows what he's talking about, with these, he's been online and checked his prices. His prices came to about 320. So actually, I think it was a pretty fair deal for both sides. I gave him 160, which is almost exactly 50% of what he was asking on the store. So I think that was a good deal for him and a good deal for me because all those pops, he, he probably wouldn't have sold them all. And also, he almost certainly wouldn't have got the asking price for every single pop. Um, like on here, like 35 on that one. He, he just wouldn't have got them all sold on the day. So I think it was a good deal all round. Now, I possibly paid up a little bit because even if I were to say get 320 for it, by the time you take your fees off, there's probably about £100 in it for me. But the reason I went for them all is for these. We've got the time machine course we've got a stay puff marshmallow and it was there another one there was also uh, an emmett brown on there which i might already have that one but i'm not sure um there's a good turtles one um but i bought them in the mind of you know what i'll probably keep a couple like especially the big ones i'll probably keep those unless someone really wants them off me um and then the rest will help me, if I can sell the rest, it will help me pay for those and let me keep those for free. Uh, because he had £40 on this one. I think he had £12 on that one. And then obviously all the rest, different prices. So I'll give you a quick scan so that you can see. Let me know if there is anything that interests you. Um, you can always contact me on Instagram or Facebook. Details below. Teletubbies there. That's an interesting one there. What's that? Is that glow in the dark? Ice man. Sorry about the glare, by the way. It's the lighting, obviously, in here. There's a backlight. Blacklight Freddy there. Scooby-Doo, a nice um, flocked Scooby-Doo. That's Oh, it says it there. Flocked. Uh, that's nice. Spider-Man. Look at this one. Uh, so, quite a few there. So, yeah, 160 paid. He had a listed price of 320. I don't know how 100% accurate that is, 
obviously before i list everything i will check all the prices on those anyway that's it everyone don't forget you can contact me if you do want to buy anything off me i'll always do you a good price um for a private deal that's it for today really appreciate you watching give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and then you can be notified when the next video comes out and of course when we do live shows so we'll see you again soon take care Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go. See you later.